Welcome back to the Christian Meditation Podcast and the Recenter with Christ app, episode 502. Christmas represents the vulnerability of Christ. A guided Christian meditation on Psalms 147, verses 15 through 20. My name is Chaplain Jared, and I do this podcast to help you find more peace in your life by connecting with the true source of peace, who is Jesus Christ. I do two styles of meditation in this podcast. One of them, like this one, it will be a guided style, which will have various portions, which will guide you through the meditation. If you want something with more open space and less guidance, I invite you to check out my alternating episodes. I switch back and forth between them. But in this moment now, I invite you to center your mind on the Lord, to dedicate yourself to Him and to ponder the scripture before us. To prepare our hearts for that, let us now set aside the distractions and worries of this world that we can focus on the words of God. So in this moment, embrace that peace which God alone offers. Trust in Him now. O God, as we sit in meditation, please guide us protect us and watch over us to fill our hearts with your words. We love you. We trust you. And this we say in Jesus' name. Embrace this peace further as you allow your muscles to unwind, your mind to slow, and you feel the calm that the Lord offers begin to enter your heart. Feel his peace speak to your heart. As you breathe in each passing breath, breathe in the breath of the Lord that he gave to us when he created us. As you remember all the things God has done for you, remember also what he wants for you now. Oneness with him. Allow each breath that comes into your body to be a representation of that oneness with Him. Reject fear from your heart and embrace the strength of the Lord. With all the busyness of this time of year, embrace the fact that God knows you individually, desires to connect with you. There is nothing on earth that God cannot control. There is nothing on earth that is beyond his awareness and power. Trust in Him. Continue breathing, and with each breath, embrace more that trust in the Lord, trust in His mercy and His power and His strength. Trust His plan for you, and trust that He will be able to assist you, that all things can work together for the good of those who love Him.
As we now read from Scripture, let us focus now on Psalms 147. First, I'll be reading from the NABRE translation. He sends his command to earth. His word runs swiftly. Thus he makes the snow like wool and spreads the frost like ash. He disperses hail like crumbs. Who can withstand his cold? Yet when again he issues his command, it melts them. He raises his winds and the waters flow. He proclaims his word to Jacob, his statutes and laws to Israel. He has not done this for any other nation. Of such laws they know nothing. Hallelujah. Continue reflecting on this scripture. And now from the NIV translation. He sends his command to earth. His word runs swiftly. He spreads the snow like wool. He scatters the frost like ashes. He hurls down his hail like pebbles. Who can withstand his icy blast? He sends his word and melts them. He stirs up his breezes and the waters flow. He has revealed his word to Jacob, his laws and decrees to Israel. He has done this for no other nation. They do not know his laws. Praise the Lord. Continue reflecting on this scripture. It may seem like this is an unusual message for Christmas Day, yet this message of celebrating the baby Jesus is not meaningful unless we consider the fact that it was God as the most powerful being in the universe that chose and yet commanded even that he be born as a helpless baby, that he accept the vulnerability of crucifixion, not as a failure of his plan, but a fulfillment of it. God is the ultimate commander. He is the ideal leader, president, king, or any other earthly title of leadership. His word can cross the universe faster than light, 
He is not bound by our understanding of the laws of nature. He freezes the earth and melts it. He commands the elements and they obey. With all this power he controls, he presents himself to the world as a baby. And on this day we celebrate the birth of Jesus, we recall both aspects of Jesus, one of ultimate power and also one of vulnerability and humanity. He chose that for you and I, that we can rise again with him. As we celebrate Christmas, we celebrate Christ's victory over that very vulnerability. May we celebrate the baby Jesus who grew to become the adult Jesus who died on the cross for you and I. Merry Christmas. Continue reflecting on this message. Now, please join me in prayer. Dear God, as we pray, pondering this scripture, as we remember Christmas and all that it represents, may we be filled with wonder and purpose, and may we be able to remember your majesty. God, we are grateful. May on this day and all the days that follow, may we remember the value of that sacrifice. May it inspire us. May it lift us. May it bring us into closer relationship with you and help us abide by the words which you have given. And this we say in Jesus' name. Amen. I invite you to continue in prayer.
Now in these next moments, sit in the silence of the Lord, embracing his stillness upon your heart. And now the application phase. I want you to summarize what it is that you've learned or experienced here today and then visualize in as much detail as possible a future day when you're applying that message or feeling or experience into your life to bring you closer to the Lord and bless the world. Thank you for joining me. May we celebrate the birth of Christ, and may we represent in our hearts this day and always the joy that that is. May we celebrate together. May we lift our hearts together in praise and gladness with the gift that God has given us, the greatest gift of all, redemption. Praise be to God for his incomprehensible gift. And this I say in Jesus' name, amen.